Hi everyone, it's Tom with Longview Nursery. Welcome here today, and today we're going to show you how to trim the Salix Hakuro Nishiki. Before we do that, I thought I'd just give you a little tour here by camera and a little bit by voice to show you what all has been happening here. We've had a real rough winter, over 50 inches of ice and snow here at Burnerville, Pennsylvania. And one of the things that, that we did that we're really happy we did do is we covered up our small plants with white plastic, which you probably can see in the background here uh, with my wife panning on this. And what I'd like to do is start over here and show you how we actually start a little plant. And uh, if Kathy follows me over here, we'll, we'll take a look and see what it looks like when a Hakuro Nishiki is just a little baby. There's how they start. Just a little stick like that. We take them, we put some special rooting compound on them, and we just take them right down here into our sand bed and put them in the sand. And eventually they grow roots and we have a started uh, Salix Hakuro Nishiki uh, that eventually in a year's time turns into a saleable plant to you for $4.97. Now, as we go through this win went through this winter, we learned a couple of things. First, you can see here the hoops, the type of hoops that we use to hold our white plastic. This, we don't have plastic on. But starting here, Kathy's showing you a little bit what it looks like. And if we just move down to the next one here, Kathy, you can see some pots right here on the end. Uh, there's a, probably about 1,500 pots in each one of these rows here, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 that will be ready for sale this spring, at least most of them will, and you'll see them in our sales area. As she pans down around, you're gonna see some larger trees sticking up behind the white plastic. Uh, those right there, I believe, are Cleveland pears, and as we pan down just a little further down to the left, Kathy will show you, we also have quite a group of weeping cherries this year that'll be available for sale. And when we step down here just a little further, Kathy, if you'll just follow me, we'll show you. This is where our sales area is, which some of you are familiar with that are watching this video. And you'll notice that we have some tin down there and also some boards. We made some wind breaks because we have a lot more plants this year for you to choose from. And so we made wind breaks uh, back in December and put them up. And we're really glad we did because it broke that ice cold 25, minus 25 degree wind chill that was going through. And the plants have survived very nicely here. Uh, and here we are at March 15th. It's late this year to be trimming the salix, but it's still okay to do it. We like to do it in February, but March 15th is okay. So we'll move over here and I'll show you a little bit of how we trim these things. It's really a simple process to do. Uh, you get yourself a Felco trimmer. I call it, it is a Felco, it's a real good trimmer. There's other ones that are just as good out there, but get yourself a good trimmer. Get it into your hand here and come on out and enjoy this beautiful day. And what we do is I like to put a kneeling board here because it's pretty wet here. And I just start cutting. And what I like to do is take them off down low like this to start these ones that especially that are pushing out towards the side. If you notice down here where I'm at, they're coming out like this and trying to angle out and widen up. And I like to keep a little tighter plant. Then on the big ones, I just go in like this, cut them down like that, one in like this, and we just keep right on going. And just keep doing that and making a nice pile of them. To dispose of. Now, when we're doing, when you're doing this, a lot of people say, "Well, you shouldn't cut them." Yes, you should. Most bushes that you have in your lawn need to be trimmed, need to be pruned and taken care of. And the more you do that, the thicker they get, the nicer the plant gets. And that's why we do this because all this new growth that'll come when this is trimmed off will be beautiful. The leaves will be a white uh, and green all mixed together there. That'll give you a beautiful wisping plant out there in your lawn to go with those beautiful, colorful roses and things like that that you have around. Now I'm gonna have Kathy follow me around. I'm not gonna take time to do this on, on video here, bore you with that. But if you come around to the side here, follow me. Here's what it looks like when we're finished. We trim it down real low and lots of new growth will come out of this here. If you want to, you could even knock off a, some of the stump. If you want to make it a smaller plant, it's up to you. These have been here, I think this is either the sixth or seventh year now. And every year I just trim them down like this, get a beautiful plant. When you come out here in the middle of May into to the beginning of June, you're going to see a lot of beautiful growth here. And a lot of people look at that and they decide they need one in their lawn at least. So I appreciate you being here today. We're not ready to have sales yet, obviously, because we still have some snow in the ground out here. But that's coming fast. So get out there, get your trimmers, uh, take a look at our, at our new Facebook page for Longview Nursery, and we'll be back to you shortly. Have a good day.